So the story goes that the first Batman solo movie in this new DC universe will take influence from two popular story arcs. A death in the family and under the hood, which is more commonly referred to as under the Red Hood. If you are unfamiliar with those, here's a spoiler heavy crash course, but you should read them. They're great. Okay, so the Joker beats the second Robin, Jason Todd, half to death with a crowbar and then explodes what's left. Then years later, he returns from the dead to torment Batman, clean up Gotham and revenge the hell out of his murderer. The manner in which he returns is a combination of the Lazarus Pit and Superboy Prime punching reality so hard that he comes back to life. I don't understand it, but that's okay, they'll probably leave that bit out anyway, because it's bloody dumb as mate. All that aside, let's explore three reasons why using these stories is a good idea for a Batman film adaptation. Well, a live action one. We, we got an animated one. It's pretty good, you should watch it. One, it's the perfect combination of story arcs to adapt and seems like it'll fit super well into the universe that's being established. This version of Batman is well into his career. I mean, he's already leagues ahead of the previous Batman with his own dead Robin. How lucky is that? This will open up a whole lot more of the universe than what we've seen before. Under the Hood features the likes of Superman, the Joker, Nightwing, Deathstroke, Black Mask, Amazo, and a stack of others. I'm not saying that all these characters will be used, Least of all, Amazo, who's like a giant weird elf robot who can replicate the powers of the Justice League. But regardless, yeah, I wanna see that. Let's see him. These are comic book arcs with weight, but nevertheless, it's still a very comic book world. And we haven't really gotten any of those in DC's cinematic universes. Except for these two, I guess, but these are bad examples of comic book comic book movies. I mean, Batman and Robin thought a comic book universe was just color and neon and nonsense, and Green Lantern thought it was, I don't know, just a guy fighting a testicle and a patch of fog. But getting back to comics. Now, I've said this at least, you know what, I may have never said it, but I've thought it at least once. I'm sick of adaptations, drawing inspiration from Batman Year One and The Dark Knight Returns. Can we stop getting variations of these? There are other, arguably better, and if not better, varied comics. These books are from the 80s, and yeah, they're great, but I'm sick of seeing Batman's first day and Batman's last day. Every director is like, yeah, I really like Batman Year One or The Dark Knight Returns. Yeah, man, that's, that's really something. Everyone likes those, but what else do you like? And you know what I hate more than that? People wanting to do their version of Batman. I don't give a shit about your take on the character anymore, regardless of how good it is or isn't. Just do the Batman from the comics, but not the ones that we've seen in almost every movie. I kind of brushed over Nightwing before, but he's important and great. Dick Grayson's Nightwing, who is a former Robin, is like a fun version of Batman. And rumor has it he'll be mentioned in Batman v Superman and then seen in the first Batman solo movie. This means that we'll probably see some of the extended Bat family, other than Alfred and his stupid old British face. Nah, he's all right. Because Batman and Robin did it so poorly, it got studio executives and I guess the general public thinking that nobody wants to see that. But I want to see that. I want to see all the Robins, and I really want to see a guy trained by Batman fighting Batman, as opposed to a Batman who's constantly out of breath and just can't handle himself. Look at this idiot! Thanks everyone. Now, if you are interested, I have a podcast called The Weekly Planet that covers movies and TV shows and comics. There's a new episode every Monday, and that'll be linked below, along with other videos that you may be interested in. Question though, if you could see any Batman story brought to life, what would it be? And if you say The Dark Knight Returns or Batman Year One, so help me, I will kick your little brother into a swiftly flowing river. But if you do have any other thoughts and you don't want your brother to be washed out to sea, please feel free to leave them below. All right, thanks everyone. Take care.